Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here, and today I want to talk about strong oxidizers, and one strong oxidizer in particular, potassium permanganate. The potassium cation is very stable, so we are going to look at the permanganate anion. Now, oxygen has a minus 2 oxidation state in this compound, which is also very stable, so we will focus on manganese. Manganese is a transition metal, and like other transition metals, manganese has several oxidation states. The most common one is a plus 2 oxidation state, though oxidation states all the way up to plus 7 are known. The permanganate ion, for example, is one such case where manganese is in a plus 7 oxidation state. Now this state is less stable than a plus 2, a plus 3, or a plus 4 oxidation state, so manganese in that oxidation state wants to grab electrons and reduce itself to a lower oxidation state. Therefore, potassium permanganate is very reactive. When mixed with glycerin, a combustion reaction occurs, producing carbon dioxide and water. However, it also produces manganese 3-oxide and potassium carbonate. This reaction is very violent. Oh, and one more thing, it takes a while to get started, so you never know exactly when it's going to go off, which is why it can be very dangerous. In the reaction, manganese goes from a plus 7 oxidation state to a plus 3 oxidation state by picking up 4 electrons. It is therefore reduced, and it oxidizes the glycerin, forming carbon dioxide and water. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. And until next time.